Okay, so here we have an overview of the screen. On the left side of the screen is the preview, and this is what the uh, finished e-learning will look like. Um, to the bottom of the screen, we have uh, the menu, and we have some information, including a link to this video. To the right of the screen, we have um, the area where we edit the preview. So it's a case of editing the, um, the right-hand side of the screen and then previewing the results on the left. What we're going to do now is um, change some text on the screen. So we scroll down to the section title and uh, we're going to edit the text there. Just to let you know that this text is shown on the banner and also on the menu of the e-learning. So we type in our altered text. And now we want to see the changes, so we save um, the changes made. And then we press the reload button. And what this does is it reloads the content with the changed information, as you can see. So the banner has now been changed with the altered text. OK, so we once again now go and edit the text. And this time we're going to change the title. So here the title uh, is in HTML. To make this more simple, we edit the HTML button and we can do any changes we want to to the text. So we can make it bold, add hyperlinks, etc. In this case, we're going to make the text bold and we are going to apply the changes. Obviously, the changes aren't shown on screen yet because we haven't reloaded the content. We can now do a similar thing for the content, which is the text directly below the title. So in this case, we... Um, open the content box, again press edit HTML, and we can edit the content there. So we can add in text again and change the formatting wherever we want to. In this case we're going to be a bit more polite and type in the word please uh, at the beginning of the last sentence. So we do that, uh, again we can uh, apply changes. Um, if we first of all go and press the reload button, if we haven't saved, it warns us that we haven't. We need to save in order to see the changes. So we'll say yes. We'll make the changes, and here we can see that the plea has been added to the bottom of the content. And also the title is, uh, is in bold at the start. So here you can see we can simply use this editor to change text that's uh, on the screen for us. Now what we want to do is to move the entire animation over. Um, from the left hand side of the screen to, to the right. To do this we can alter the X and the Y um, coordinates. Um, these coordinates are from the top left hand corner of the screen. So a larger number for X means that the content goes towards the right of the screen and a large number for Y means that the content goes down the screen. So here we're going to make some alterations to the X and the Y. And this in effect will move the content upwards and to the right. So again we can save the changes, reload, and here we can see now the content has moved upwards and to the right. Having moved the entire animation around the screen, uh, now we can control individual elements within that animation. Uh, in this case what we're going to do is we're going to move the text um, down a bit, the main content text, to centre it in the document, so it looks a bit neater. So in this case we're going to scroll down and find the content underscore y value. Uh, changing this number will um, either raise or lower the text on screen, the content text. So in this case we're going to increase the number and that increases the distance from the top of the screen for the text. In addition we're going to change the width of the text, I'll explain why this is the case uh, later, but what we want to do now is uh, adjust the width, the width value and we press uh, reload again and we can see the text uh, has moved down and also it is now narrower. Right, what we can do now is change where the presenter appears on the screen. So again we scroll down um, just to show you where the presenter is defined. If we have a look at narrator underscore FLV, here you can see we can load in the presenter if we're dealing with a progressive video download. If we're dealing with stream video, then that is defined elsewhere. But um, if you're da progressively downloading, I download the video to the local PC each time, then you can define it for each screen under Narrator FLV. OK, Narrator X is where we position the narrator. So again, if we decrease the X value, we move the um, element from the right of the screen to the left. Similarly, we may want to adjust 
the the numerator y value. So, say for instance, if we uh, decrease this value, we'll effectively move the narrator um, from the bottom of the screen up to the top. This is useful if we want to put items uh, into a long shot or, or into a close-up. Okay, again, so we can save our changes, press reload, and you can see now the presenter's moved up and to the left of the screen. Okay, other, other elements that we can change um, within the structure of the, uh, the system is we can do things like um, we could change whether the room rotates so having the room rotate as true uh, is useful if you want to move to a new topic or change the background of the wall or perspective of the view so we set that as true similarly we have another thing called slide fm in if that's false uh, we have the current view i.e. the camera perspective does not slide towards the learning if we set that as true, then we're effectively now in a close-up. So you no longer see the floor, and the camera slides towards the back wall. Other elements you can change are the video. If we add a video in here, uh, a video appears in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, this video can be used to uh, complement any training, or any e-learning issues that you're dealing with. Um, and it will appear, as I say, in the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the screen. The final option we have to, to us is we can change the background if we want to. So um, if we scroll down and click on the Photos link, here you can see we've got the background defined in there. I'm not going to change it in this case, but you can enter whatever element you want to in there to change the context of, of, of where the learning is, is situated. So again, we can uh, reload and we can see the effects of the changes that we've made. So as you can see, when the screen reloads, the, um, the room rotates. Uh, and you can see the, there is a video now at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Our perspective is now slid towards the back of the room, having the effect of zooming in on the e-learning content. And that is how you edit basic jackdaw.